48 hours ago, Valerie Arroyo charged that her 15-year-old son, Travis Brown, was an out-of-control thief who was wasting his great potential. She said Travis had the intelligence to one day become a great businessman, but was throwing away a promising future to pursue a dead-end life of crime. All right, and so you are smiling. That's always a good sign. Good things? Good news? Awesome. awesome. Let's awesome. take a look at a little bit of what happened when he went out. Hello. Hey, Judge Hatchett, how are you? You say a young man, Travis, was in your court? Oh, I'd be happy to help. I'll make my way over there now. Travis. Nice to meet you. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to New York City, business capital of the globe. Yeah, it looks like it. Judge Hatchett asked me to meet with you. Mm -hmm. She's telling me that you're doing some things that you shouldn't be doing. Your mother cares about you, she loves you, but she wants to see you do better. And so we're gonna spend our day together okay. here in New York. Do you know who I am? You don't know who I am. I don't, okay, you've been too busy doing the wrong things to recognize me. Well, I won The Apprentice. I worked for Donald Trump. I still work for him, in fact. A lot of folks would say I'm successful. I run a, I run a multi-million dollar company. It's based in Newark, New Jersey. It's not too far from where we are right now. You know, I, I make good money. I live a comfortable life. But I'll tell you right now, I would not be where I am today if I did not follow the right path. And if I understand correctly, you, you've been stealing, you've been getting into trouble, you've been smoking weed, hanging out with the wrong crowd. And it may not seem like it to you because you're 15 and you got all these years ahead of you, but I'm here to tell you that if you make the right decisions now, it will benefit you for your lifetime. Dr. Pinkett is a successful man. Um, he knows a lot about what I'm interested in, and I think I can learn a lot from him. We have a lot in common. When I was young, I was good at computers. You're good at computers. Yes, sir. I mean, I was spending hours upon hours messing with my, with my computer. But I also, I was always doing something related to business. You know, I always had what some might say, I always had a hustle. All right, Travis, now you want to be in business, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make money, yes. but we want you to learn how to do that the right way. Okay. So I'm going to give you a task, okay. and you're going to be able to show me and show Judge Hatchett what you can do. All right. You're going to run a car wash today. Okay. These three individuals here are going to work for you, and I'm going to give you, to get started, $100. Okay. You must use that money to get everything that you need. Okay. All right? All right. Show us what you can do. You go get the supplies, go get poster boards and advertisement. You come with me and help get customers. I want a big car wash sign, and then a sign with prices. $15 for any car. Things got off to a bit of a slow start, which tends to be the case in any business endeavor that you gotta put in the foundation work with the hopes that that investment will pay off later. But eventually things picked up and Travis started to get some traction with his car wash. The purpose of having Travis do a car wash wasn't necessarily to have him make money washing cars, but more so for him to learn the lesson that you can make money legitimately through any business endeavor. At one point, Travis took the initiative to ask me to help him. You want me to hold a sign? Yeah, please. <laughs> I can respect initiative, and the fact he asked me, I was more than willing to help. Car wash? Thank you. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? Car wash. Car wash, how's it going? It's going fine. How much have you been doing? When I first saw Judge Hatchett, I was thinking, I'm thankful that she took time to make this happen for me. It is hard work to be a responsible citizen and to be a successful businessman Absolutely. like you have done. Absolutely. All right, I expect greatness. Feels nice to be doing the right thing. Travis, hey, how you doing? You doing? doing all right. Good. Tell me how'd it go? Um, went well. We, the crew worked very hard, made a lot of money, and put a whole lot of work into it. Good. Oh, we're gonna head over and uh, count the money. All right, Travis. Let's see how you did. One hundred and fifty dollars. You did pretty good. 
because you earned it the right way and you earn it honestly, I'm gonna match your 150 with my own 150. And I want you to know this is fairly standard practice for a corporation or even government to match your savings as a way for you to learn a lesson about building wealth. He showed me that if you work hard and you really strive, you can do it. All right, now I understand that you stole $35 from the YMCA. Now you took more than $35 from the YMCA. You took equipment, and if you include that along with the $35, it probably came to about $200. So mm -hmm. I suggest you give the YMCA $200 of the $300, keep $100 for yourself. And giving back to the Y, I felt it's a good thing to give back for what I have took from them. Now let me show you just a quick visual of how you can make your money grow. Now imagine if you were to put away $50 a month for 20 years. You would have saved $12,100, but if you were to wisely invest that money, you would have $26,706. The way I want to go, I can't smoke anymore, I can't steal, take anything I, that doesn't belong to me. I have to earn it, have to work for it. Travis did it pretty well. I was impressed. Ready to go on the right path and succeed on what I want to be. What we're going to do now is we're going to start saving for Travis's future today. And we're going to take that money and we're going to put it in the bank where it belongs. <laughs> Woo, mercy. Let's bring him in here. Come on in here. Travis. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> your mom is just oh. crying. She is so happy. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. <laughs> when Judge Hatchet continues.